Hello and uh, welcome to today, which is Friday the 26th of May 2023. And this is Simon Says for The Legend of the Travelling TARDIS and this episode is called Space Junk. It just so happens that yesterday, the 25th of May, was the 181st anniversary of when the Austrian mathematician and physicist Christian Doppler gave a lecture at the Bohemian Society of Science on the coloured light of the binary stars and objects. The apparent change in frequency of a wave in relation to the observer. This has become known as the Doppler effect and this is why this little piece of brilliance helps us calculate the distance of stars today. And today uh, mankind is uh, venturing forth to find speedier ways of travelling to the moon and, uh, and to Mars. Uh, trying to get to the Moon and the Mars in speeds which hitherto have been pure fantasy. And at the forefront of this venture we have Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos and to some extent Richard Branson. But there's a lot of noise about the biggest starship, but surely they should be thinking about the best. So whilst this uh, game of penis envy is played out, perhaps we should reflect on the consequences of mankind's actions in space. For decades now we've been sending up satellites and we have a space station. And this is wonderful technology which society cannot do without today. But hundreds of these satellites are now obsolete. Uh, they have died effectively, but they're still travelling around the planet at orbit travelling at 28,000 kilometres per hour and are tremendously dangerous. Should one hit the space station, for example, uh, this would be utterly, utterly calamitous. And, uh, of course, the true catastrophe would be that all that are on board would die. Surely this blanket of satellites uh, could be, well, could be blocking sunlight from the earth and what then by nature humans are or i should say humans have proved to be a very careless animal leaving debris all over the place with no thought of the environment fly tipping comes to mind and more recently we have read stories of water companies dumping raw sewage into the waterways with no thought of health and safety but what of the health and safety of space? A small percentage of out-of-date satellites have been encouraged to fall to Earth and burn up in the atmosphere. But surely some of these materials could be reused. You know, could we not bring these old satellites back? Because, after all, they are made with precious metals. Colonising the moon... And the Mars is very exciting and and I'm all for it. But we must clear up as we go along by reusing whatever we send out into space. And I feel, for example, that there should be built into any business plan of space travel that any satellites, for example, that are put up, then perhaps several should be brought back. We have to reduce the space junk. Thank you very much for listening. Until the next time, toodle pip.